Today, we talk about thoughts that either make us or break us. Am I good enough? Do I have to wake up today? That's just so mean. We also discuss what we want to be when we grow up. And the amazing Sylvie Palladino joins us live at the desk. That and the day's hot topics, this is What the Goss. Hello and welcome to What the Goss. We are live at Trish G Store. I'm Renee. And I'm Trish. And joining us today on the panel is the beautiful, my friend, Sylvie Palladino. Hello. Hello, Hello girls. Girls. So good to see you. We are so excited to have you with us today. Um, and we just wanted to talk about a few things. Um, I guess we've been um, receiving a lot of emails, but one of the most common emails that we've been receiving from men and women um, is related to depression and negative thoughts. Um, and I guess, you know, negative thoughts can either really make us or break mm. us. You know, we can be dictated mm. by, um, you know, what people have spoken over us over the years, whether it's family, teachers, friends, um, you know, those closest to us. And, you know, and we can live out some of the things that they've spoken over our lives, yeah. you know. So what do you yeah. think about that, Sylvie? Uh, look, this topic's so close to me, as you know. Um, my... I suppose because I've been in the public eye most of my life since I was 15 and I decided that singing was going to be my thing. Um, it was like when I became a singer, I also stated somewhere in a contract I was a model and a superstar and everything else that goes with it. So it's very much based on my appearance. And with that, people, I think in love, I don't think it's ever come from a place of anywhere else, but certainly in love they've commented on what I look like on television or... Or hope um, that's stunning. Uh, no, it wasn't always stunning. It was, oh, why did you wear that dress? Do you look mm. fat? Or, you know, things like that, which can be really hurtful. Yeah. And, um, and it's created a real chip on my shoulder over the years. And, and as a consequence, I've been yo-yoing on diets since 15. So that's 30 years. And, and I, do, <laughs> I know you pretty well. Yeah. And I know that you're a very confident and amazing woman. But out there, you know, as a stylist as well, you know, we've been, um, you know, taught or I guess dictated by social media, by magazines, by TV, mm, right. that this is how we should look. That, the perfect yeah. look is tall, blonde, brunette, yeah, yeah. size six, size eight, yeah. you know, and, and that's so not true. We are not. all different and we are beautiful and special in our own very unique way. And to be put into a mould uh, is so wrong and we really need to embrace each other, encourage each other, especially mm. as women. A lot totally. of the time it comes from women to yeah. women. Um, but, you know, um, marrying my beautiful husband, Greg, and having my kids and, you know, it's a great network of people around me. I've overcome those negative thoughts and yeah. negative input in my life. And I still struggle. The truth is I still struggle day after day. I do struggle with the, the image in the mirror that I see. Sometimes it's not the image that is really there. It's what I'm thinking is there. Yeah. And, um, you know, they call that body dysmorphia or something like that you know and that is so true because yeah. we can see you know an ugly sister yeah you know and yeah. but they're just the voices they're the That's negative right. thoughts yeah. that we tell ourselves that we're ugly we're not yeah. good enough mm, yeah. nobody likes us you know yeah. but I just want to say to you and encourage you viewers right now mm. and those that are just listening that you are stunning this is not just to motivate you you really need to believe in yourself. You really need to love yourself because you are valuable. Yeah. You know, you are amazing. You are unique, mm -hmm. you know, and, you know, you've got things inside of you that are special that I don't have and that Sylvie right. doesn't have, That's you know. Right. And, and, you know, we cannot, I want to say this again, we cannot be dictated or measured by, you know, what people have spoken over our yeah, lives because yeah. it's, it's not true. It's, That's right. you know, hurt are, people hurt people. Yeah, and we are created... Uh, by a mighty king and uh, you know he loves us no matter what all our imperfections or perfections he sees us as perfect yeah. and we need to start believing that ourselves Absolutely. and we would create a much better world if we step into that true well yeah. Sylvie we Love see it. you singing at the carols you every do year. 
Yes. And you look absolutely stunning. Oh, thank your you. Your gowns, your makeup, your thank just you. you, your presence. Thank you. you. I personally think, I mean, we're by it. No, we're not. <laughs> oh, you are. You're the best. Oh, oh, I'm sure you <laughs> agree with that. When Sylvie's on TV at the Carols, we make it You're obvious. a fave. <laughs> Turn it up. It's you're definite, you are definitely oh, a favourite. Thank I mean, you. And, you know, and you're... Your songs, like what you sing, is truly from the heart. It's just yeah. very passionate, very impacting, very powerful. Yeah. Well, I feel it's a, a, a wonderful time of year to, um, you know, to share the real meaning of Christmas Absolutely. and um, and to get dressed up in a nice was, frock and all of that. Was great. that always a dream of yours? Um, not really. Yeah. Um, it's something that happened the first time I did Carols by Candlelight. I was 16. I had platinum blonde hair. Stop. You should have did I did. You? <laughs> like at Madonna, 1988, Papa Don't Preach. Do you remember that time? So you were short. Oh, hello, I'm still in that time. I, I started. <laughs> oh my God. You're still there. May the real <laughs> Eddie come out. <laughs> Toy hair. See my she toy has hair. The blonde platinum hair. I did. I had short. So you looked like, like her. Um, That's pretty bad. Well, no? not no. <laughs> I didn't see it. God, I am confident. <laughs> Sticks and stones may we break my bones. We love you. No, we do love it's you. Oh, yep. Yeah, so it wasn't it's a dream all good. Of yours. No, it wasn't well, a dream. Do you know my dream when I was yeah. a little girl? Can I tell you my dream? Oh, tell, tell us. Your my dream. dream was to become a hairdresser. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what you wanted to be as a little girl to be a hairdresser up. and it's funny because it's still artistic and you know oh, it has totally. that sort of similar thing but yeah hairdresser oh weird huh what about you wow well i growing up i wanted to be a lawyer wow but then i realized you had to study for five years and i was like i have no time <laughs> for that you have to read books and i was like oh gosh and then at night i thought you know i could be a lawyer during the day really smart then at night I could work in a toy store because I get to play with all the toys. You know, as a six-year-old, seven-year-old, <laughs> that I is anyway, sensible. It's weird, that's, but that's what I wanted to do. I should have never thrown your Barbies away. I wanted to be a doctor at one stage. I wanted to be a dancer. A dancer. Dare to dream. <laughs> A dancer. Are you a no, good no. dancer? She has two left feet. Right. Oh, I'm so bad. I don't know why. Two left feet, two I, right feet. I wanted to perform, but anyway. She can't dance. Happen. How encouraging am I? What did she you want to dance. do when you grew up? Okay, you are you up? ready? What? Okay. This is going to shock some of you, but this is the truth, okay? Because oh, my father was a truck driver. So growing up, I wanted to be a truckie. No. Like a, no, but a, like you a girl. You are so not a no, truckie. I am a truckie. No way. I oh lived God. in trucks. No, 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 I would be this kind of truckie, a blinged up truckie. <laughs> you, could like create, you, create, you could drive create down the, the freeway. You could bling up the truck. So anyway, it doesn't matter, you know, what you're doing today. We can't be dictated, I guess, by what we do. It's who we are because true beauty is inner beauty. Absolutely. You know, we need yeah. to believe in ourselves. Yeah, we've got to love ourselves. Look in the mirror. Tell yourself you're beautiful. I don't yeah. do that. You are beautiful. This is a good lesson for all of us, huh? Yeah, well, yeah. it is. I kind of, you know, I received yeah. what we were speaking about. That's right, yeah. Well, Sylvie, thank you so much for being a wonderful pleasure. You're the best. No, we, love we love you so love, much. I love you. I love you. You are the best. <laughs> so stay tuned for some amazing guests joining us on What the Goss. If you'd like to stay up to date with us, follow us on Instagram at Trish G Store or check out our website, trishgstore.com. We'll see you next time. See ya. Bye.